Welcome to Business Forward. I'm Kaylin Risvold, President and CEO of the Naperville Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm here with Cam Kniss, CEO of Wheaton Bank and Trust, to talk banking. Cam, what are some top economic issues that consumers should be thinking about right now? You know, as we start the year, I think the two biggest headlines are inflation and then the possibility of rising interest rates following inflation. Um, you know, inflation is something that I think everybody's seeing right now from the cost to buying a car to, you know, looking at buying a home, um, cost of even going to the grocery store, what they see, you know, increasing pr costs in milk uh, and even down to a cup of coffee. So, you know, what the Fed's doing or project, projecting to do as we look into this year um, to slow down that inflation, which, you know, as of December was 7%, which is the highest it's been uh, for sure in my lifetime, at least right now. Um, you know, they're going to look to slowly rise interest rates to, you know, slow down inflation to some extent. So what does that mean? Um, you know, I think consumers are going to start to see um, you know, increase in their borrowing cost. So the cost of, you know, the mortgage when you buy a house is going to go up. Um, cost if you have credit card debt, um, that cost is going to increase. Um, and in addition, you're going to see, you know, additional costs, borrowing costs in general. Okay, so what else does this mean for consumers? So is this just seeing our costs go up? So I think, uh, you know, with rising costs, there are some benefits as well. Um, for example, um, if you do own a home, um, you know, the value of your house is going up as well. And so, you know, that uh, is allowing people to have more equity. Now, equity uh, is the value of a house less any outstanding debt. So, you know, if uh, individuals have, um, you know, home improvement projects or maybe they want, you know, to take some money out of their house, they're going to have the capacity to do that within this year. Um, the other thing that, you know, rising interest rates are going to benefit the consumer is, you know, while not right away, um, over the course of the next 12 to 24 months, um, the cost or the, the interest that they receive on money in the bank with a CD or a savings account should go up. So ultimately, it should be good and beneficial from that perspective. So when we're talking about inflation, it's not all doom and gloom? No, not necessarily. Uh, what else should consumers be thinking about as they're looking to 2022? So I think, uh, you know, when you're seeing your costs go up on a day-to-day -day basis, right, um, I think the most important thing is to, to I'm a big proponent of seeing folks put a budget together, right? So it's going to cost you more at the grocery store. Your utilities cost may cost more. Um, if you need to buy a car, um, you know, you need to certainly put that plan in place, understand what your, uh, you know, paychecks coming in, what your income looks like, and what your expenses are going to go out for. Um, because ultimately, you know, there's other items that, um, you know, individuals or families want to have, such as taking a vacation or, you know, maybe doing something to their house. So if your, you know, weekly, monthly costs are going up, they certainly want to be mindful that there's going to be enough money left aside, you know, when they look at their full year's worth of budget to be able to, you know, do those special projects that they want to get done. Any other advice for people as they're looking to make a budget or looking at, um, inflation and everything else coming up? So I think do your own research is a critical, is a critical component. Um, you know, also seek the advice of a trusted advisor. That could be a financial advisor, it could be a banker, it could be a mortgage broker. Um, you know, get guidance to make sure that you really truly understand um, you know, that you're making the best financial decisions for yourself. So Cam, we're talking about inflation and one thing I'm seeing in the business community is rising wages. Uh, what are you seeing? Well, we're certainly feeling it in our business as well. Um, you know, the number of job openings uh, coming out of the pandemic um, are, you know, relatively high and we're having a tougher time filling those roles. Now, um, you know, on, uh, on the employee side, um, you know, uh, folks finding to look to get a new job or uh, find a job that's paying more, they certainly are. Um, you know, having their opportunity to, to take advantage of that. Um, and not only are they finding different opportunities within the workforce to take a new opportunity, but they're getting paid more for that as well right now. And you mentioned housing, you mentioned home equity loans. The housing market is so hot right now. What are you guys seeing here in banking? Um, what we're seeing, especially in Naperville and DuPage County is, you know, uh, rapidly increasing home prices. So. Um, this does make it a little bit more challenging if you are a first time home buyer as you are you know, seeing what normally w you'd be paying one price that's at this level and that price is certainly going up 10 to 20%. Um, but at the same time, it's also benefiting homeowners.
we're talking about housing and in the housing market being so hot. Well, now I'm hearing of offers being made non-contingent. How does that work banking wise? Well, a non-contingent offer basically says there's, I don't have to sell a house or sell a house that I'm currently in to move forward with that offer. Um, you know, this makes it really challenging for a first time home buyer. So one uh, advice and piece of guidance is there are first time home buyer credits. There's special programs that allow for first time home buyer assistance um, that buyers should certainly look into and take advantage of. Awesome. Well, thank you for your guidance and a little bit of information here today. Um, again, Cam Kinnis, uh, CEO of Wheaton Bank and Trust. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.